Now problem number two is a little more challenging. Uh, again, I've identified that I have an isosceles triangle because I have two congruent sides. So that makes that an isosceles triangle. Okay. And, but I'm given that this angle here is 94 degrees while this angle and this angle are congruent and I'm asked to find what X is. So now this one's a little trickier, but not really. One thing that I know is that if this is equal to X, then this angle up here has to be equal to X as well. Now, the other thing that I know is that all three angles should add up to 180 degrees. So I'm going to say X plus X plus 94 degrees should equal 180 degrees. So we're just going to kind of think about that for a second. Now if I have an X and I place it in my hand and then I take another X and place another one, I'll have two X's plus 94 degrees and that should add up to 180 degrees. So now the next step would be is that I'm going to solve for X. I can move the 94 or the 2. Moving the 94 is easier. So I'm going to subtract 94 from both sides. Why? Because I'm adding 94 to X. To move the 94 away, I do the opposite of add, which is subtract. And whatever I do on one side of the equation, I have to do on the other side. So then I'm going to take out my handy dandy calculator. Obviously I could probably do this in my head, but because I want to make sure I want to get it right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say 100, oops, 180 minus, what was it, 94. 86 degrees, let's check that one more time. 180 minus 94, 86 degrees. So this is 86 degrees. Now over here on this side, 94 minus 94 is 0. 0 plus 2x is just 2x. So I'm left with 2x is equal to 86 degrees. So far, so good. Um, lastly, what I want to do is I've got 2x, which means 2 times whatever the value of x is. I want to move the 2 away, so I do the opposite of multiplying by 2, which is to divide by 2. Remember, whatever I do on one side of the equal sign, I do to the other. I'll do this one. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 1 times x is just x. And then 86 divided by 2 is 43. x equals 43.